You may be wondering, what's new stack in Affinity Photo? Well, it's a selection of files that are all blended together, and I'm just going to run through this. So, new stack, and I'm just going to quickly go, you've got this option here, images. At the moment, of course, there's nothing there. What you can do, you can add. Simply click there to add, and I've got some gradient files here. Now, this is probably not the conventional way of using this. This probably is if you've taken about 50 photos of the same object, very subtle differences, and then you want to sort of merge and blend them all, try them out. Well, this, these are all different images, completely different images. So I've got lots of gradients here. You can drag this out a bit so you can see all six gradients here. Now you can't move them around, but what you can do, you can do that later. There's always a way. I'm going to go with automatic align, perspective, and also live alignment. Click OK. Create a new file. So you've got a new file here, and you can see the end result. That's a combination of all these gradient files, whole range of different gradients. Now, what you can do, it's not fixed. It says live, and it is live. That's the key thing. So you can turn around and say, well, you know what? I don't want that one on top. Well, I can drag it down. I can reposition it. Obviously, the end result will still be the same. It's just an average. It's working it out, calculating. It's nothing to do with particularly the, but it's working out sort of a whole range of different mathematics. Here, live stack group, you've got mean, mean. Now, if I remove these ones, it would, of course, would result in, say, but you've got maximum. Maximum is quite nice. But if you want a really high intense, oops, didn't want that one. If you want really intense designs, probably this one, skewness. It's a bit more like difference, I would say. It's a very odd one and can be used to create some really weird images. I mean, really weird. If you do sort of like with a photo and you create some slight variations, it comes out odd. So that one's definitely worth checking out. However, unfortunately, while you've got this here, what you can do, you can't change the blending modes. If you change the blending modes, totally ignored. You can only change opacity. So opacity, you can reduce the opacity. So the layer is changed there. That's about the only thing. It doesn't make any difference with any of these ones. So just keep it normal. If you go to the top, pass through, makes no difference as well. So if you change that, no difference. So just keep it pass through. However, what you can do, you can turn around and say, well, I don't want that one. You can remove it. Don't want that one. You can remove it. You can remove any of them and they will be removed from the calculation, this accumulation or whatever it is, mathematic here. And again, if you go back to that one, say, you can remove other ones. So as you remove them, it will change. Also, what you can do, you can expand it. And you'll notice there, in the gradient5.jpg, I've got a perspective. Or maybe this one. They've all got perspective. That was the thing that was mentioned in the actual panel when it was created. You've got a live perspective effect, and you can remove that. If you don't want it, remove it. But what you can also do is you can turn around and say, well, go to layer, and you can add your own. So Gaussian blur, decide, or radial blur. Distort and say twirl. So just go for twirl. Might have effect, might not. Very subtle. Now, sometimes it won't create it in the place you want it. It'll just put it above. Well, simply select that and then just drag it down. Just put it in and then you can see. Now you've got your twirl. So you've actually got the twirl added to that design. Then you can see the result. And again, if you go over here, you go through maximum, you can see it even more. Just creates a real massive opportunity for all kinds of more visual effects just from a set of, set of files. But again, if you've got more traditional set of files, maybe a photo of a street or so, or a model, you want to create subtle changes and you want to just try out these mathematics, I think this is a really great feature, definitely worth checking out. What you can also do, you can change the colors. And of course, you can always add additional above the live stack. Perfectly reasonable as well. Simply go to layer and then new adjustment layer maybe levels, and decide, you know what, just change that. You can modify it in numerous ways. Just above the live stack, it doesn't modify the end result there. Simply just run through, and you can go through there, and it will change. Obviously, sometimes if you've got that, it really just blasts it out completely. So that's running through live stacks, and you, of course, can do other things. You can modify things, delete things, all those sorts of things. A whole range of different stuff. If I want to remove that one, I can remove that one, remove that one, 
and so on and so on. Recolor things. And also you can apply just standard effects as well. So if you want to, just go filter. And my favorite, deform. I love deform. So you can simply add deform to it and you can modify it. And you can see as you do that, what happens? You can see the design gets changed. And again, apply. Obviously, I've got crazy that. Perfectly reasonable. However, you've still got it here and you can still run through all these variants in standard deviation, total, mid-range, range. Now you can also, and I'm just going to go for another one, file and new stack. In this case, I'm going to show you, and I haven't done this yet, so I'm just going to probably, who knows? So add, and I've got some type, just created a single word type. And it's all added, and they're all slight variations of each other, some blurred, some sharp, and I'm going to go for exactly the same thing. So again, another file, and you've got your design there. And actually, that comes out quite nice. It's actually quite, there was some slight blurring, but you can see the real word type comes through very clearly. And you've got type there. You can see you can expand that, obviously. There, pixel, 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 they're all pixel layers. And again, you've got exactly the same before. You've got your perspective. You can add additional filters, live, live filter layers, blurs, Gaussian blur. Add another blur to that if you want. It puts in the wrong place, which it always does. You can always drag it down and put it there. And you can see the result, and you can run through these again. Just try them. Minimum, maximum. You can create all kinds of different designs simply by running through this. And again, exactly the same as before, you can always remove them. Always remove an entry. You think, you know what, that one doesn't, I don't like that one. Or I can change the settings. All those things. Apply effects, filter, Gaussian blur on that one. Just apply, very quick and easy. And that's using type. Now, as with the other one, what you can do, you can also go up here and you've got this design. Well, you can just go to layer and you can do merge visible. You don't have to keep it as a live stack. There it is, merge visible. As a merge visible, what you can do, you can always go to layer and duplicate. Go up here, resize it, apply other effects. Once you've done that, go here, normal, darken, and you can see you can create Whole range of different combinations so it doesn't have to remain as a live stack group that's the key thing it's still there of course i can always remove it or use it again remove these ones and just go back to using this for few reasonable as well and that's with live stack so file and new stack there may be some other ways you can do it through here possibly is i haven't seen any but however i think it's quite a useful feature if you want to create some very unusual designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.